is the best thing about waking up in the morning? The best thing about waking up in the morning is finding a package on my doorstep from the United States Postal Service. Thank you, U.S. Thank you, USPS. I wanted to know. Hey guys, Red is Power back with another toy review. Actually, it's the first toy review of mine for 2011. So, this is a great start to begin with. The continuation, the successor of Bionicle, Lego Hero Factory 2.0, even though it doesn't say 2.0, we should say it right here, but it doesn't. Fire Lord. Oh, yes. Boy, oh boy, did this put a smile on my face when I saw this staring right at me on the shelf at Walmart where they keep all the Lego figures and uh, Mega Blocks and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, you may be noticing I'm having a little trouble talking right now. It's because I've got some really, really bad allergies right now. So I really shouldn't be doing this review today. But you know what? This is my only day off, so if I don't do it now, when will be my next chance to do it? Besides, I'm not going to keep it in the box forever. So, let's take a look at the box while we're at it. Look at that. Very nice box art. I like that. The explosion in the background. And, uh, to me, what kind of looks like Heroes Factory's base exploding right in your face. Or, you know, right behind Fire Lord. Uh, let's see. Ages 9 through 16. The item number is 2235. Not bad. 125 pieces. I think that's a little short. I'm not so certain anymore, but I do believe that Vaughn Nebula still has the most pieces. On the side, let's see what we got. Lego Hero Factory, a uh, few cautions, and that's it. On the uh, top, flip it, we have the actual head size of Fire Lord, in which, of course, that helmet looks pretty sweet, or should I say, it looks badass. Uh, nothing there, nothing important. On the side here, we've got some uh, different language for Fire Lord's name, I guess. And that's it. On this side, nothing. On the back, yes, nice picture as well. I like that. We have Fire Lord going up against um, Preston Stormer 2.0 and Evo, I think his name is. I don't know yet for sure, but I will in time. Especially with the continuation of the Lego Hero Factory series going on. So yeah. Hopefully this guy will kick some ass. The uh, Thornax launcher is back. But this time it looks like an actual meteor weapon. Which is kind of cool. And I do believe that's it. So you know what? I'm not going to waste your time anymore. I've taken about four minutes away from you guys. So how's about we go ahead... 
open him up and see the contents inside. So hang on guys and I'll be right back. Okay, with all the contents taken out of the box, let's just go ahead and see what we have. First off, to start off with, as usual, we have the box. So, one last look at it before I throw it away. Okay, bye-bye now. Inside the box, we have bag one with a bunch of new pieces that have not been used with the past Bionicle and Ben 10 figures, which is... Really awesome. But um, if you want to see somebody actually go into detail about these bags or, you know, the contents inside the bags, the pieces themselves, go um, look up somebody else's video. As a matter of fact, go look up Legomation Studios. I truly recommend that guy's videos because, wow, I mean, just the way he does them and how he knows almost everything about Lego pieces... He just blows my mind each and every time. Anyway, here's the second bag with some smaller pieces. And we will get into those when I put the figure together on video. Yep, that's right. I'm going back to that, guys. Here is the instruction booklet with the nice looking picture again that was on the box. On the back him again um let's see what else uh there's a promotion again for um press and stormer 2.0 and evo 2.0 let's see what else what else uh, bits by bits of how exactly to assemble fire lord but nothing else really oh check that out that's pretty cool the website uh let's see what's this Create a hero. That's kind of cool. Uh, check out legofactory.lego.com for more on Lego Hero Factory. Of course, like I said before, the successor of Bionicle. Oh, wow. That's what he's going to look like when this is all put together? He's going to be kick ass. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, wow, I like that. That that would make an awesome poster. Uh, something else called Hero Recon Team. And you can find out more about it at legoherofactory.lego.com. Or, you know, herofactory.lego.com. Uh-huh. And that's it. So, all right. If you guys will give me a moment... I'm going to take a little break. Of course, you're not going to see that on camera, but when I come right back, we'll put this sucker together. I don't know how long it will take, but just bear with me because it might take about five minutes. Ah, well, what can I say, guys? It took me over an hour and a half to complete him. Sadly, though, you didn't get to see any of it. I'm sure you're all pissed off at me and you're wondering, Hey, what the hell? You said you were going to do it in front of us. Well, I did. But the problem is, this camera does have a flaw. I have finally found a flaw with this camera. You only have about 30 minutes of video format. That's it. Just... 30 minutes to record a film and if it goes beyond that it stops filming and then the camera cuts off so that sucks really badly but you know what I'm gonna have to deal with it you're gonna have to deal with it I do apologize but there's nothing I can do about that I've looked up all information I can find on the Samsung camera and sadly though there's nothing I can do period so from now on when it comes to the smaller figures that don't take so long to build I can still do those in front of you but when it comes to ones that are over a hundred pieces no I'm sorry there's nothing I can do about it say goodbye to the uh, taking the time to actually build the figure in front of the camera for you because it's just not gonna happen anymore with the 
big guys. So, I do apologize. But like I said, it's not my fault. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no format. I can't change that. Anyway, <coughs> before my allergies get worse, here is Fire Lord completed. And as you can see, he is truly bulky. And he looks very powerful. And I do want to thank Lego for, um, actually this time, no stickers. None of these designs are stickers. You know, the fire cracking through his armor. That is not stickers, that is paint. So, I mean, eventually, if you play with these figures, they might chip off eventually. But, um, for once, it's nice not to have to mess around with a sticker sheet to uh, slap on... What's the word I'm looking for? Just to slap the the uh, necessary parts that you have to slap on to the armor, but, you know, eventually it peels off. Yeah, close enough, close enough. Anyway, Fire Lord is pretty awesome. Light piping, I'm not so sure if you can actually see this. There really isn't much to it because, well, the helmet is, you know, it's completed. It's full. It's got a few holes that if you, uh... Point it to the sun, or, you know, put it in a light. There you go. Wow, that's actually cool. So, yeah, Fire Lord is uh, really, really awesome. I like the way this figure turned out. Granted, it's not as completely detailed as its CGI concept on the uh, image here. But, you know what? It's really close. I like it. I'm not regretting on purchasing this figure. I spent about maybe $20, if I can remember, a few days ago to get this figure. He's been in my box since, and he wanted out, so I finally brought him out. Um, articulation is pretty killer for this figure. I really, really don't have the time or the patience to actually go through it. But let me just tell you already, every place you think that you want to assume that he can actually move, he can move. Everything is on a ball joint. Every last thing is on a ball joint. Except for his waist. His waist is not on a ball joint. It can't move just because of the way this figure is built and how this piece is molded. So, that is a disappointment, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm not complaining. This figure is awesome, and he's pretty big, too. For a size comparison, here he is with Von Nebula. Yes, they both look seriously awesome when up together. Granted, I think Fire Lord is a tad taller because I actually heard he's more of a dominant foe to the Hero Factory compared to Von Nebula. But, you know, only time will tell. Another size comparison. Here he is with uh, Power Core Combiners, um, Crankcase, Crankcase I think is his name. And uh, I don't think I'll be doing a review on him, at least not for the foreseeable future. So yeah, there's your size comparison. I don't want to take the time to pull out, pull out any of the heroes, so uh, if I had to guess, the heroes are about up to his waist. Right, right around this area. And he's not really standing straight at all. He's actually bent. So if you put his legs straight, he's actually gigantic. So, um, let's see. Any other gripes? Any other gripes? Well, let's see. No, not really. I mean, there really isn't that much open area. Oh, that's it. That's what I wanted to mention. Uh, remember with the last of the Bionicle figures, you know, the Glatorian Legends, and also with the start of Hero Factory, their hands were, you know, molded to a position where they actually looked kind of weird. Well, these hands are actually molded better because now it looks like they got, you know, five fingers. 
and the thumb. But here's the sad part. See that? I know it's coming out blurry, but maybe if I can focus in a little bit. Focus out some. No. No, you're not you're not gonna see that. I'm not gonna even bother trying to fiddle with this camera today. I'm kinda upset with it. I'll get over it. Anyway, as you can see, that little open area. Yeah. The hands are hollow. That is one gripe. And as far as I know, that is my only complaint. Why would you do that, Lego? Why would you do that to such an awesome figure? Now, I know he's not the only one that's actually going to have this problem. I know when I start to pick up the other 2.0 figures, even the heroes are going to have those hands. So, that's kind of sad. But whatever. Yeah, I'll get over it in time. He is an awesome figure, greatly articulated, very poseable, and very seriously badass looking. He looks like he's ready to take on the Hero Factory and just annihilate them with the power of fire or whatever the hell he does. Now, I guess this would be another issue right here. This piece right here, was this not used for uh, William Ferno? The original William Ferno, not 2.0. Is that not his weapons? But, that's it. I mean, he is really detailed. I mean, they could have put some paint here, but I don't think Lego really likes to paint figures. Granted, I do like the fact that these are painted, but I really don't think they like to paint figures. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, I really have nothing else to talk about this figure except for um, $20. Well worth it. Go buy it. You can probably pick him up at Target by now, even Toys R Us. I know um, Hero Factory 2.0 just came out, and I was actually surprised to find this figure so quickly. Unlike last year with the beginning of LEGO Hero Factory, they were a bitch to find. So, there you go, guys. Um, you wanted my opinion, there's my opinion. And before I go, um, let's take a look on the back. Very open. Who knows? Maybe LEGO will hear me out one of these days. Maybe they might give some extra armor just to hide some of this. It is very, very eye-catching. And I don't mean that in a good way. I can't stop looking at it. Anyway, like I said, you wanted my opinion, there's my opinion. That is, of course, my quote for each and every video I do. So, there is Hero Factory 2.0, even though it doesn't say it. Fire Lord. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you'll comment, subscribe. Hope you'll stick around for more because I'm just going to go ahead and show you one second. It ain't over just yet, guys. Found him today. Voila. Drill Dozer. Another villain of the Hero Factory line. And hopefully I'll be able to get him all set up sometime by next week. So, guys, that's it. This is uh, Redis Power signing out. I'm sorry I sound terrible right now. But like I said, I'm catching a cold. Allergies kicking in. And I'm not feeling well right now. So, I'll see you guys later. Take care, bye-bye, and until next time, just hang on. You gotta be patient with me. See ya.